Hello guys and welcome to another video from Time of Business. Today we'll be discussing the cons to selling on Etsy. So should you or should you not sell on Etsy? If you are new to the channel, Time of Business is the perfect place to learn how to grow your online business. Whether you are an Etsy seller, whether you have a Shopify store, a blog, a YouTube channel, we will teach you how to grow your online business. Also, make sure to check out our website, timeofbusiness.com, where we have a ton of information about how you can grow on Etsy. Also, we have a very nice blog post with the pros and cons to selling on Etsy. So make sure to check that out, link in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the biggest disadvantage that you have when it comes to selling on Etsy is that you are an independent seller and there are millions of other sellers on Etsy. So the competition is fierce and most likely everybody wants as much traffic as he or she can. So being in competition with so many stores means that all that traffic to a certain category means it will be divided throughout those sellers. So the second con to selling on Etsy is Etsy fees. If you are already a seller, you know what I'm talking about. Just recently, Etsy has increased their uh, transaction fee from 5% to 6.5%. That means that you already pay with 1.5% more from everything that you sell. You have an Etsy listing fee. That means that every product that is listed on Etsy, you pay for it. So you pay $0.2 every four months for that product to be live on Etsy. Besides the transaction fees that you pay on each sale, you'll also be paying transaction processing fees. That means that every time somebody else so a third party has to process your payment you will pay a fee for that which is usually around 2.5 or 3 percent plus 0.25 dollars so that is another thing to take into consideration before selling on etsy also if you sell an item with off-site ads that etsy has recently added on their website you will be paying between 12 or 15 percent from the total value of the item, including the shipping, which is a lot if you had a small margin. So you have to take all of those fees into consideration when you set up your price and when you calculate how much you actually earn on Etsy. If you want to learn more about Etsy fees, we also have a video about that. Also a blog post on timeofbusiness.com. So make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. The third disadvantage that you have when it comes to selling on Etsy is that everybody remembers as I bought something on Etsy. So if I see a cool necklace, a vintage a piece of clothing or jewelry, I can just ask you, where did you buy that? And you will say on Etsy. So you will not know the exact seller you bought it from. Many people do not know the stores they bought from or they will not come again to that store. So they won't be repeat customers because you cannot remember the exact seller. You only remember Etsy. When you have your online store, people are more inclined to remember the name of your website. Maybe you can think of a cool name and they can easily go and see where they bought it from. So the fourth con to selling on Etsy is the fact that Etsy can actually close your account and your Etsy store at any time without any real reason. So since they own the platform, that means that they can decide whether you are allowed or not. People usually get banned or suspended on Etsy because they had bad reviews, because they sell prohibited items, maybe they had the copyright infringement, something that happens very often. So there are few mistakes that people make on Etsy because they did not read the entire guidelines and that resulted into a permanent ban. That means that you can never sell on Etsy. So you cannot make another store on Etsy because it will be banned and another very big disadvantage is if you own several Etsy stores, so let's say you have five, 10 Etsy stores selling different things. If one gets banned, that means all of them go down. So Etsy owns your business actually on Etsy because it's their platform. So you have to consider that. The fifth 
thing is that you cannot sell anything on Etsy. There are prohibited items, just as mentioned before, and that means that Etsy will not allow you to sell that. Also, they change their policies depending on US regulations or EU regulations. That means that at some point your products might not be eligible to be sold on Etsy. So what does that mean? It means that you have to pay attention to all their guidelines and policies as they change and you have to update your store accordingly because otherwise you risk to be suspended. Before we move along, if you find value from this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, leave a comment below, like this video, and also check out our website, timeofbusiness.com, where you have a ton of useful information. The sixth con to selling on Etsy is Etsy support. That is something that everybody talks about. For example, when your account gets suspended, you usually do not get any message. Your account is suspended and you usually have to get in contact with Etsy, which from experience and from everybody else's experience, good luck with it. You can try to call them, but usually uh, the people from their call center do not have all the answers. So you'll have to wait for an answer from a certain department within Etsy. And that can take a few weeks or even more depending on your problem and depending on the traffic in that period. So you have to take that into consideration. When you have a problem on Etsy, you depend on those people to solve it and fast. And that for now does not happen. The seventh con to selling on Etsy is the fact that your Etsy store performance is always so permanently affected by the number of sales that you get, the feedback that you get and also whether you offer free shipping or not. So that is something that you might face at a certain point. There are people that go on vacation and when they come back, their sales decrease and they can never go back to what was their peak. So this means that you have to constantly struggle in order to maintain that level of efficiency, ship very rapidly, have good reviews. The eighth disadvantage when it comes to selling on Etsy is the fact that you cannot create your brand. So you cannot create a brand awareness among millions of other sellers. So Etsy is not the perfect place for you to grow your own brand. It can bring you sales, it can bring you fast sales, it can bring you good money, but usually no brand awareness. That means that you have to go to other social media platforms or other websites make your own website in order for people to recognize you. There are people who, let's say, have a YouTube channel and they promote their own brand and send a lot of traffic to Etsy. But you have to understand that when I go to Etsy, I might land on your product and then go and actually buy a different product. That is why building a brand and your own website has a huge advantage on the long run compared to staying on Etsy where usually you won't be remembered as the seller, you will only be remembered as a seller on Etsy. So that was the video, guys. If you are also interested in the pros to selling on Etsy, we have a video about that, link in the description below. Also, we have a very big blog post with everything when it comes to pros and cons to selling on Etsy, so you have a link to that as well. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share it with your friends. And until next time, guys, do not forget, there was never a better time. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name. Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain, assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name. All